Day to you and how you be everybody Jan Agosto here and welcome to Taino Inc. I just finished a nice little quick job with some Heather Gray hoodies, black print on the front, black print on the sleeve. I love those jobs. You could run those jobs so fast, man. That's why I like when you don't have to know flashing, no nothing. Woo! The best. Let me show you a little tip. When you're dealing with the large image, right? Make sure that the tape that you're covering comes all the way because if not look at that you're gonna be when it's time to reclaim you're gonna be taking all that ink out and right here it's nice and clean perfect now the other thing I want to show you is look how the job came out the job came out beautiful look at that detail that detail came out nice <laughs> but Today is something different. I have a job I have to do with a client that wanted some almost like high density print. He didn't want it that high. He just wants a little higher so it could look a little thick. Never done any type of high density prints. There's this person I follow on Instagram and they call Mad Specials. Check them out. You're gonna see the sickest prints in in social media is mass specials man because oh wow their high density prints oh, are sick man but i'm here doing a little test run i've seen some youtubers trying it i know you could use a capital film little kind of expensive this is without that and i came and said let me do this type i've seen a lot of people trying different methods but i'm doing this one and i'm gonna explain to you how i got it done and we are gonna we're gonna see at the same time when I wash it to see if it comes out and when I print how thick it looks and I'm using a 110 which I should have used the uh, like an 86 mesh or maybe a 60 mesh but I'm trying just to see how my emulsion will handle a high density thick stencil what is a high density print in other words a thick stencil a thick print very it looks very thick like you did a lot of you know, hit flash print, flash print, but you don't do it like that. The way you do it is you don't need a 80 mesh. I try it on a 110, but really you should go on an 80 mesh. And it's all about the thickness of the emotion. How thick you gonna coat this emotion. There's a one I saw Cam doing where he'll print the front, then he'll have a fan hitting it and then on back of it he'll just go layer maybe about 15 20 times layering it layering it so he could by the fan with the first pass what it'll do is it'll create a membrane to hold it down that one was the way he did it another way he did it was he put this little thick um cardboard and then layer a lot of emotion and try to put it that happened when he did that it created a lot of air bubbles and that's it's not gonna work like that because those air bubbles are just gonna ruin your emotion but the way I did it was I came and I passed one quote here and I passed another quote there then I put it on the rack for about an hour I came back passed another quote here and then another quote here Put it back on the shelf, left it for another hour. Then I came and passed another one for only on the back and then put it back and I left it there for the next day. The next, um, the day after I came and passed another layer using the thick side of the scoop coder. Not the sharp side, the, the thick. Waited another day, another one. I did it for three days putting the layers. So basically it has maybe six layers, six or seven quotes on the back and two on the front. I did it in that way to um, prevent any air bubbles and make sure that the emulsion really grabbed. Hopefully when I put it in the exposure unit 
and expose that and I wash it, it washes off. Let's see what happens. But that's how I create a thick stencil. If this works, then I could just do that every hour. Just layer on the front, layer on the back, put it for an hour, come back and just layer the back. The back every hour. Come back while you're working, while you're cleaning, any every hour, another layer, another hour, layer. Make it to about a good 15 to 20 quotes on the back, just like Cam did. And I think that will work, but the first test is this way, just to see if it exposes and it washes well. So, well, <laughs> let's give this a test. So, let's do this. Here's the film. Make sure I made this so packed that you can't even see light going through, because I need this image to expose. Here's the screen. Came out real nice. The most important thing is that there is no air bubbles at all. None whatsoever. Not that thick, but I could make it thicker. If this works, I could make it thicker. And that's how I know that this process works. Meaning, coat it one day, the next day come and keep coating that back every hour. Coat it, let it dry, coat, coat till you reach about 15, 20 passes. And if this exposes and it washes well and it the prints looks nice then i could make that screen thicker using the 80 mesh so enough talking let's expose the screen go wash it set it up and see how the print goes on if it washes well and if it works then we have an idea of how to create a thick stencil so let's do this If you notice, when I took the screen to the wash booth, I did not damp the back of the screen, the squeegee side. I went straight forward and just pressure washed the front, just because when I'm gonna do it a thicker stencil, you don't wanna damp the back because it might just break up. So I just wanna see if the emotion was gonna hold that pressure when I'm using the pressure washer and it went well. The other thing if you notice was when I was taking the screen out of the exposure unit, if you notice the film did not stick. That means the emulsion was well, well dry. So very, very happy. Now, let me go get the ink and a pellet and do a little quick test run. Let's do this. So what I did was one pass, flash, and the second pass made it look very high density. It's not bad. For using a 110 mesh with only about six to eight quotes of emotion, and I could feel the print, amazing. The whole point of this was I wanted to find out that if I could just put emotion on the screen, let it dry, the next day come and put another quart of emotion on top of that dry emotion and then do it for every other hour. And let me tell you, it works. It works. So this looks amazing. I know you, I don't know if you guys could see it, but you could feel it. You could see it really nice, man. Look at that. Came out beautiful. Came out beautiful. I like it. So let me finish these hoodies off. Got to print the front and the sleeve, and after that, we'll see the final results. Let's do this. Oh, 
Okay, you notice I have the laser light. The guy won one inch off the cuff. So that's the good thing about the laser light. Every, I will know exactly where the cuff is and print right there, guided by the laser light. Awesome. Job done. They came out beautiful. For that first run test, doing that emotion, got a little kind of a thicker stencil than regular, loving it, loving it. He's gonna love it, print on the front looks beautiful, and on the sleeve, awesome. Now, check out the final results. Came out nice, right? Real nice. Now I have an idea if I want to do a thicker, I want that high density print. I'm going to do something like that with the 80 mesh, more quotes, and I think it'll work. I think it'll work. But if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.